This Ash Wednesday, three Worcester residents responded to the city's anti-panhandling crackdown with civil disobedience, begging on a median in Lincoln Square across from police headquarters. Gordon Davis, a blind anti-discrimination advocate, was representing the disabled. Scott Schaefer Duffy, a Catholic worker who houses the homeless, was dressed as St. Francis. Robert Peters, a longtime meditator, was dressed in the meditation robes of a lay Buddhist. Disabridgement of freedom of speech is, is, uh, is unconstitutional. But worse than that, it, it hurts people who, who are trying to you know, get by in an honest manner. That is, you know, begging. Begging is not a, a, a dishonorable thing. I, uh, by in and of itself, asking people for help is not dishonorable. It's like people who, who go on welfare. All of a sudden, they're ashamed. Well, because they ask for help. We, we want to get rid of that. This has a chilling effect on, the, on people's lives, and I think it should end. I'm out here to oppose the uh, anti-panhandling ordinance that the city passed two weeks ago, and uh, to challenge it, uh, both because I believe it's unnecessary and also because I believe it's unfair, particularly to the poorest of the poor. Being a person who believes that one should always be generous to those who are in need, many people have been generous to me throughout my life. Um, not only should individuals who are driving or walking, not only should they not be forbidden to give those who are in need, but those who are in need should not be um, obstructed from asking for help. It may be that they use the money for the wrong purposes. Many people receive money in other ways that we regard as more legitimate, they end up using the money for wrong purposes. So it's not ours to judge. So uh, my attempt is, uh, by standing here, is to say to the council and to the city of Worcester, uh, more compassion, more understanding, less laws <laughs> obstructing people who need help. Um, there are two very great traditions that were started by panhandlers, and Jesus and Christianity was one of them. He asked all of his early disciples to give up everything and to go from house to house and whatever they give you to eat, that's what you'll receive. Buddha was the other. He did exactly the same thing because he saw in the world nothing that lasts. Everything like this bowl is empty. I called to report the crime of panhandling, passing out flyers, and accepting donations. And what did the police say? They said they'd send somebody right over. And how long ago was this? This is at 131. Well, I'm glad they have better things to do. I am too. We just had uh, two police officers drive by in their car, and at least one of them, we're sure, gave us a very visible thumbs up, but we think both of them did. Very cool. And uh, I consider it a great victory that so many Wistrites came out to support this uh, this uh, demonstration and also that the Worcester police have not have chosen not to enforce the regulation I hope that that's uh, an indication that they too think this is uh, uh, they have other more important things to do and that this is not a, a just or fair or necessary regulation thank you and no has, has anybody come out and given you informational flyers or whatever there's listening no. to no, none of the things that they uh, uh, that they say they were going to do, but I think they realize that we're well aware of the ordinance. Yeah. And, uh, uh, but I hope that this is a, a, a sign of the, how the city of Worcester really doesn't want or need this ordinance.